You know what timeout leads to? I know this is a stretch, but stay with me on this. These pussies who were raised on timeout, they grow into uh, these like young men in their teens and 20s who think it's perfectly acceptable to wear skinny jeans <laughs> out in public because these people clearly don't know that they should be afraid to get punched in the face. <laughs> See, if I was in my 20s, getting ready to go out to the bar for the night, standing there in my skinny jeans, looking at myself in the mirror, I would have thought, fuck, I look ridiculous. Somebody at this bar might punch me in the face because of these pants. I better play it safe and stick with my fat jeans. But what are these Time out pussies, what are they thinking when they're getting ready to go out and they're standing there in their skinny jeans like, fuck, I look retarded. <laughs> but fuck it, it's not like anyone at this bar is gonna put me in time out. <laughs> I heard this bar doesn't even have stairs. <laughs> I mean, no wonder these kids turn into such assholes. <laughs> Speaking of assholes, uh, my wife's here tonight, and I love her to death. But, no, I'm, I'm not calling my wife an asshole. What I'm saying is, my wife definitely thinks I'm an asshole. Like, I can just tell, like, everything I do or say is met with that, what a fucking asshole. <laughs> Expression on her face, like, everything I do is wrong. So I could tell she's really getting fed up because the other night I came home and she bought this doll. I'm not making this shit up. You can buy it in stores. It's called the Perfect Husband Doll. And when you press its button, it says a whole bunch of ridiculous bullshit <laughs> that no husband anywhere in America would ever say. Like, uh, I love your mom. I think she should come spend a week. <laughs> and you look tired. Take a bath, I'll make dinner. And who wants to watch football? Let's go shopping. <laughs> so she proceeded to torture the shit out of me with this fucking thing. Like, pressing its button 50 times a night, telling me, I really think you could learn something from him. <laughs> so finally, I had enough. I went out and I combed the stores till I found the perfect wife doll. <laughs> And I brought it home, but I took the batteries out first. So that way, no matter how many times you push its button, all it can do is shut the fuck up. I told her, I really think you could learn something from me. I'll leave you with this. Speaking of wives, I just saw this in the news. I thought this was pretty great. It seems that uh, members of Al Qaeda in Pakistan and Iraq are now talking their wives into being suicide bombers because they say women can get past the security checkpoints easier than men. How fucking brilliant is that? <laughs> I mean, what do we do in this country? We give them our house, half our money, half our shit. These guys are talking their wives into blowing themselves up. <laughs> I can't even talk my wife into blowing me. And how do they keep a straight face through that whole negotiation? <laughs> you know the second she walks out the door with the bomb strapped to her chest, he's on the phone with his buddies like, uh, Muhammad is Ahmad. <laughs> Listen, the bitch fell for it. <laughs> <laughs> no, I can't fucking believe it. She just walked out the door, party at my house tonight. <laughs> oh, and if I were you, I'd make sure your wife's at the supermarket at 12.30 sharp. <laughs> You guys have been great. My name's Ken Krantz. Thanks a lot. Give it up for Ken Krantz.